From spirit houses to temples and more, it is apparent how important the national religion, Theravada Buddhism, is to the Thai people. Everywhere in the landscape you see temples. Some of these temples are dedicated to animals. In this video I show some of them. The Wat Prang Samyot Temple was built by King Jayavarman VII of the Khmer Empire in the early 13th century. The temple served to showcase the prestige of the Khmer Empire in Lopri. The temple is famous for its large population of crab-eating macaque monkeys which live in and around the temple grounds. The monkey population has always been present in Lopri but the start of the locally held Monkey Buffet Festival in 1989 led to a dramatic increase in their population. The festival serves a dual purpose, drawing in tourists while also honouring the traditional Lopuri belief that monkeys are disciples of Jaupa Pra Khan, a spirit which protects the city. Pratat Ruang Rong, also known as the Monkey Temple, was built in 1968 by Luangpu Tama Pitaksa. The temple is named after its most sacred Buddha image, where is enshrined relics from the Buddha, thus allowing local Buddhists to come worship before these items. The monkeys of Lopuri have been woven into the fabric of local folklore and mythology. According to an ancient legend, a group of monkeys were once protectors of Rama, a revered figure in Hindu mythology. These monkeys were said to have been gifted with the ability to speak and were tasked with guarding the temple. Over time, the population of monkeys grew and they became an inseparable part of the temple's ecosystem and charm. Recently, after a number of incidents, between the cheeky monkeys and humans, it has been decided to reduce the population. Monkeys are captured with cage traps and released in areas where they do not cause any nuisance. Wat Pai Lom, located on the banks of the Chao Praya River in Patum Thani, is infamous for what it destroyed rather than what it is. For decades, the trees around Wat Pai Lom were the winter nesting sanctuary for hundreds, if not thousands, of Asian open-billed storks. For years, the human visitors went to the temple during their pilgrimages to the stork sanctuary. In a stupendously idiotic tragedy, however, the temple abbot and decision-makers went on a huge construction binge, knocking down trees, piling up construction materials, making loud disturbing noises and otherwise making the area unattractive to the nesting storks. The storks got fed up with the disruptions to their mating and nesting and abruptly stopped returning to the temple grounds. Now the storks are nesting in other parts of Thailand. Wat Po Bangla in Bangla, Chachueng Sao province provides home to a large colony of fruit bats, often called flying foxes. The temple was built around the year 1800 during King Taksin the Great Era. The art design of this temple is Ayutthaya style, combined with the Ratanakosin style. Inside the temple, there is a large pavilion, which is enshrined with the statue of many famous monks and the important Buddha in Thailand. The trees are hanging heavy with the furry flying mammals and caution is advised if you want to avoid unpleasant precipitation from above. The flying foxes are the world's largest bat species. The bats have a wolf-like face, reddish-brown fur and a nearly one meter wingspan. At dusk, the bats swoop out of the trees to feed, dining on fruit and the young leaves of nearby body trees mango trees and tamarind trees. The temple is situated alongside the Bang Pakong River, which makes for a peaceful and attractive setting. Tiger Temple, or Wat Paluang, Tabua Yanasampano, 
was at Theravada Buddhist Temple in the Sayok district of Thailand's Kanchanaburi province in the west of the country. It was founded in 1994 as a forest temple and sanctuary for wild animals, among them tigers, mostly Indochinese tigers. The temple has been accused by animal rights activists of mistreating the tigers for commercial gain and even trafficking some of its animals, though in 2005 it was cleared of allegations of animal mistreatment in an investigation by wildlife officials and a raid by Thai soldiers. Charges were pressed for unlicensed possession of 38 protected birds found on the temple grounds. In May 2016, the Thailand Wildlife Conservation Office began capturing and relocating the tigers, intending to close the facility. Authorities counted 137 tigers on the premises and the frozen bodies of 40 cubs, some of them dead for more than five years. Wood Chakrawat Ratchawat Waramahawihan is an old temple in Bangkok that was originally called Wat Sam Pluem. In the reign of King Rama III, they renovated the entire temple and had a canal dug to convey water from the Chao Praya River to the temple's pond. The restoration took six years to complete. According to legend, during Ayutthaya period Thailand, the Chao Phraya River was inhabited with crocodiles, one of which was a fearsome one-eyed man-eater nicknamed Ai Bod. The croc was eventually hunted down by the locals. Ai Bod took refuge under a monk's house in the temple. The monks spared the crocodile and built an enclosure for it. When Ai Bod died, he was stuffed and placed on a stand overlooking the pond. Currently there are still crocs in the temple. Wat Chedi, Aikai, is a temple located in Nakhon Sitamarat province. According to history, Wat Chedi is an abandoned temple since the Ayutthaya period. About 250 years ago, a boy was accompanying a traveling Buddhist monk when the pair overnighted at Wat Chedi in the southern Thai province of Nakhon Si Tamarat. Sensing that the temple would one day become an important place, the monk instructed the boy who was called Ai Kai a southern dialect term that literally means egg boy, but that might be more accurately translated as scamp or rascal, to stay and serve the locals. Aikai vowed to do so. In addition to helping out the resident monks and maintaining the temple, he engaged in the type of mischief familiar to a boy in Thailand during the late 18th century terrorizing the village with a slingshot, setting off firecrackers, chasing roosters and playing soldier. A few years later he heard that the monk was on his way back to their village and rather than join him and return home, which would have violated his oath to serve the temple, Egg Boy drowned himself in a pond. But Egg Boy never really left Watchedi. Distraught by the tragedy and touched by the boy's service, the temple commissioned a statue of Egg Boy, which has served as an anchor for his spirit. In the centuries since, Egg Boy has been spotted many times, once even causing mischief for soldiers camping at the temple during the communist era, said Superchai Jomrit, a member of Wachedi's managing committee. Egg Boy's spirit was also said to help people recover lost items and grant prosperity. If you want to be lucky, you can buy a chicken and place it at the temple. So the whole entranceway is full of chicken statues. Despite the prominence of the chicken in this temple, I am told that there is also a restaurant at the entrance where you can eat chicken. Ironic, but also typically Thai. Wat Ban Rai is one of the most famous temples in Nakhon Ratchasima province as it was the residence of revered monk Luang Fokun Parisuto, who died in 2015. Many worshippers came from all over the country to see him. 
Today it is of course still the monk whose huge statue sits in the temple and which is full of pictures and images of him. The complex is now quite large and looks as a building in the shape of a giant elephant built on a pond. It is the largest ceramic mosaic temple in Asia. It has more than 20 million mosaics. Wat Silla New Temple or Wat Ratchatamaram is situated on a steep coast by the ring road on the way from Lamai Beach to the settlement Hua Tanon in Koh Samui. It is very easy to notice from the road. It catches your eye with its new building, a temple of terracotta colour. The word Sila translates to stone in English, while Ngu means snake. So the name Wat Sila Ngu literally translates to the stone snake temple. The snake, particularly the Naga serpent, is a potent symbol in many Asian cultures, including Thai. Wat Silangu or Stone Snake Temple is a name that beautifully combines physical description with spiritual symbolism. In Thai and Buddhist mythology, the Naga is often depicted as a great snake or dragon, sometimes with multiple heads. It's viewed as a protector and a symbol of great power and wisdom. Nagas are believed to be the inhabitants of a mythical underworld protectors of treasures and guardians of the Buddha and his teachings. Wat Sampran is a small temple located 40 kilometers from Bangkok in Nakhon Pathom province, whose main attraction is a massive dragon statue that is tangled like a vine around a 17-story tower. Visitors are expected to recite a prayer while touching the dragon's nails. After that, you entered the building and found yourselves in front of a coffin and next to it were some photos of a monk that seemed to be dead. But he was actually alive when the photos were taken. His name was Pra Jam Long and he was the former abbot of this temple who began its construction and who, they say, managed to spend 38 days in this coffin without a pulse or breath and then woke up still alive. The temple is poorly maintained and many areas seems semi-abandoned. And the reason is that the founder of the temple was the protagonist of one of the biggest scandals in Thai Buddhism. When the monk was at the peak of his fame, he was accused of abusing for years six girls from northern tribal ethnic groups who had been taken to the temple for their education he was sentenced to 160 years in jail. Also, several monks were convicted for helping and covering up the abbot's abuses. Some of the abbot's followers didn't lose faith in him, arguing that he had been the victim of a plot and continued to defend his name and show support for him. On May 2021, the infamous monk was released from jail at age 72. Last, the Buffalo Temple, Wat Hua Krabwe in Bangkok. The story of Wat Hua Krabwe is that the chief abbot decided to create a memorial to the Asian water buffalo, which has seen a rapid decline in population as farming has become more mechanized and people have increased their consumption of buffalo meat. The abbot began collecting skulls from nearby farms and slaughterhouses and, according to one website, now has a collection of over 8,000 skulls that he will use to create a museum to the animal. The abbot apparently has a penchant for collecting things. Originally, he collected old Mercedes-Benz cars.